Okay, here is the first part in my collection. Maybe some Scream fans might recognize it. This is the exact same top that Willa Fitzgerald wore in the second episode of Scream, the MTV series. I got it off eBay for about $50 to $60. This was the only one I could find off eBay, and I gotta tell you guys, this was such a find. I was thrilled to find it, and I had it for almost a year now. It's the top she wore when talking to the killer. She wore it through the second half of the episode, season one, episode two. Um, when she's talking with the killer, you know, Mike Vaughn, the voice on the phone, you know, if you were in this house, I swear to God, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, this, oh my God, guys, such a beautiful rare find, and it's by Topshop. They, I think, are a UK brand, they're very expensive, and it's by Topshop Unique. Beautiful, and then this is burgundy, and it's very stretchy. I love it. It's such a highlight to have in my collection. And here's another piece in my collection. This is almost an exact replica of the Wilfred Aritzia yellow ruffle top worn with Alison De Laurentiis and Pretty Little Liars. It is so cute. Now this is not the same one. This is by a brand called um, Madison, and the one that she wore was by, like I said, Aritzia, Wilfred, and I'm having no luck finding one of them off eBay, but this is the closest one I could find. I love it. Yellow is such a good color on me. I didn't think it would look so good, but I love it since it's beautiful. It's tiered, and even in the back, I'll show you guys the back. It has a nice little V going here, like a little scoop, and there's ruffles all down the back, too. This is a great piece for even like a cosplay of Alice and De Laurentiis on that night and if I get like a yellow wig and maybe put some blood on it I could definitely pass for her this is a size medium again I found it on eBay for about 20 bucks and I love it it's a great piece it's not an exact replica but it's the best I could find and that's why I'm including it in the video so, it's a and here is one of the last clothing pieces I have to show you guys. It is the Old Navy peach orange tank top that um, Amy T. Garden wore in the opening of Scream 4, you know, Jenny Randall. And this piece you could find anywhere. It's by Old Navy. And again, I think I said, it's Old Navy. And it's like a peach orange color and it has, you know, the nice scoop in the back and it's long, it's comfortable, and they come to like up to size 2XL. So guys, if you want to maybe do like a screen for opening or you just want something to wear this summer or spring, they're like, what, 7 14 bucks at Old Navy. One of the easiest pieces anyone could ever get. And like I said, that was one of the easiest finds ever. And so I hope you guys like it. It's really cool. It's comfortable. It's colorful. Definitely for spring and Easter. I'll show you guys some um, weapon pieces in my collection. I'm pretty sure the screen fans might know what these are. These are the Buck 120 knives that the killer uses in Scream, and they're plastic. See? Now this one has the top actually is not there. It got cut off in shipping, so the guy sent me another one, and I found them on eBay. They were 30 bucks each, so um, yeah, they're plastic. I used it at the Lakeville Haunted House when I was killer ghost face, or when I was just like a hooded serial killer, just for the tent scene. Now if you can actually see, there's still some fake blood on it, the caro syrup, chocolate syrup blood that I make by hand that I get at the grocery store. And that blood is edible. I found these both on eBay. And this one actually, the tip is there. This one's just for show. And they're very lightweight. It's awesome. There. This is the Lizzie Borden axe that I got at the Lizzie Borden reenactment in Fall River, Massachusetts on August 4th. And I carried it around through the tour, and people were like, where's the murder weapon? And they go, oh, that girl has it. And see all the blood? It's actually painted on. It's fake. It doesn't come off. And this axe head is actually made of rubber. See? Rubber. And so it was really fun carrying it around, because, you know, you know, Lizzie Borden, do, do, coming to get you. Nope, not over there. Nope. Going back this way. So yeah, that's the last weapon piece I have in my collection. These are all fake, so don't worry. They can't harm anyone. As you guys saw in the background, yeah, that's my 
Oren from the Never Ending Story hanging up there. That's in my pride and joy. So, yep, I hope you guys enjoyed, and that's it. And here, there's the guest thermal from uh, H2 Halloween. I just put it on the side there. So, hope you guys like it. Enjoy!